So my cousin, <laughs> you're scared. I haven't even told the story yet. You kind of told the trailer <laughs> at the beginning, man. <laughs> my cousin heard that we're doing the scaredy cat thing, and he mm. wanted me to t- share the story with everyone. Um, when I was in college, my cousin and I and some friends we went up to Genting Highlands. Okay. It's their service apartments there. We booked and we stayed at. Okay, I think there was at least there were at least like ten of us. So you know, just like uh, hanging out, eat, mm-hmm. and you know, just partying, having, partying, whatever with your friends, right? Okay, so here's the thing about uh, apartments that are uh, only used once in a while. They're always vacant. vacant and not occupied, right? And you know what they say about you know properties that are not occupied. Other things would want to stay there. Exactly. So that night when we went to bed, um, my cousin was wearing a beanie. Now some people say that when you wear a beanie and you cover what Chinese people I guess call your third eye. Okay. You know, you are more likely to see things. Wait, if you cover your third eye, wouldn't it be better that you don't see stuff? I thought your third eye uh, needs to be open. Apparently, anyway. you need to have it uh, exposed. exposed. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I mean, okay. I'm not sure lah, right? Okay. So, he went to bed. When he woke up in the morning, he, he said he complained last night. When he went to bed, there was a time where he couldn't get up. He couldn't come up. Yes, correct. So, he was he was being held down yeah. by something or someone. Now, the thing is, there, was, there were only two people in that room they were okay. sleeping in so the other person was out cold you know yeah. sleeping right so, so anyway he he said after that when he tried to get up he couldn't get up and he when he tried to breathe he had trouble breathing yes then he went into a in a really bad dream and in the dream there was this female um you know spirit or whatever long hair telling him uh-huh. and saying to him please tell your friends you all need to leave you are in my space and this is my territory. So that was what he dreamt lah, okay. right? So he woke up, he told us all about that, and oh my god, dude, I was like, what? Yeah. Okay, was he the only one who had like, this paranormal experience? The rest was okay. Yes, he was the only one. However, um, another friend they, who had been there before, mm-hmm. one of those nights they were there, you know, they, they messed up the place, you know, they were uh, you know eating a lot of food, whatever, yeah. left their, their trash all around. The next morning, apparently, they woke up and the whole place was cleaned up. Oh, that mm. housekeeping is did a good <laughs> job. Coming at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. It's a service apartment. There's no housekeeping, dude. I mean, you can't see the housekeeper, but I'm sure she was there. <laughs> so there you go, man. Hits.com.my. Share with us your spooky stories. Yeah, make sure you say in caps, uh, attention, Arna Lowe, because he's the big scary cat here. Thank you.